my YouTube channel had a weird evolution because it started out with a video I did for as an audition tape for a television show and then I put that up and then I did a music video parody and a couple of sketches because I saw that that's the thing that some people were doing really dabbling in YouTube but never like going hardcore with it it wasn't until I went to the first VidCon that I got to see other YouTubers I got to see panels I got to talk to people and see the approach that they were taking YouTube that was different it was you know it wasn't casual for them it was a weekly thing it was a constant thing and that's what sort of started me motivated to go like I can really do this as its own thing it's not just a, a hobby now I can make this something that's part of my career as, as a performer and then it sort of that sort of escalated from there and then when I started coming up with different formats like black nerd rants awkward talks with girls it's like specific shows that people can attach themselves to and then know that that's the kind of content they get from my channel each week it just helped me really be able to format the channel the way that I want it while still still being creative still doing the things I love still having fun with it but taking it from a professional approach so that I can be able to make quality content so I can be able to work with brands so I can be able to do the types of things that makes YouTube go from just a hobby to a full-time career. So tell us about the uh, YouTube program and, and sort of your involvement how it's helped what it's changed your game and also a little bit about the new studio and you know fill us in what impact has that had for you as a content creator? Okay well I've done two sp uh, specific classes with YouTube over the past year the first one I did was the YouTube Next Vlogger program they've had a Next Up program for a while where they were looking for up-and-coming YouTubers and tried to help them out with equipment and advice and classes and it started breaking it up into YouTube Next Chef, fit fitness person, whatever, a comedian and so I did Vlogger and it was really helpful because we got these weekly classes, Google Hangouts, uh, they gave us uh, new cameras, new equipment, a bag that I'm carrying around right now, it's out by just wonderful and um, but what was really helpful about it was we got to see hands-on how analytics work, how you know, how they properly title and annotate videos and write the right description and have the right thumbnails. And we got to talk to other YouTubers like I Just Steam, Michael Buckley, Community Channel. And it's helpful to hear from other YouTubers to have that one-on-one -on -one talk of seeing like, well, what these are the things that they're going through and you don't feel like you're by yourself. And that really kind of motivated me to look at YouTube a different way. I think a lot of people have fun with YouTube and it's good, but there's there's also a business side to it that you'll see people kind of doing that have made it you know higher instead of so I I started doing those types of things and saw that it was a growth and then with the YouTube space I'm part of the class there and what happens is we get to use the facilities at the YouTube space LA which is massive there's a whole video that shows like just how cool that space is it's got green screen rooms it's got uh, stages it's got cameras uh, editing bays and we have range of using that and then we also have more classes there about analytics about working working with each other and what's really nice is there's 25 people in the class and there's also other productions from the premium channels that are coming through as well and so you get to meet all these different people that you may not see except maybe at a networking event or something like that where you kind of just be like hey what's up you actually get to see them in action you got to talk to them one on one you get to collaborate with them on the spot tell us about the rants and then we'll we'll close it up so Absolutely. so you know as much as I love the YouTube space and as much as I love being able to do you know high production content and see what they're putting out there I still do my black nerd rants from home um, what I learned is that from my analytics, this is where again analytics came into play, people love them. And I was always worried because I was like, oh, you know, everyone's making these big music videos, big comedy sketches, so much money is being thrown into YouTube now. You know, I gotta up the game. But I found out that people love that. There's still that, that heart of YouTube where people just love meeting a new person, hearing their opinions, whether they're serious about it, they're being funny about it, but just having that one-on-one -on -one conversation. People love that. And so I found that I was getting a bigger response sometimes from literally a rant that I did in a couple hours that, you know, was really passionate about it. You know, I and other than some video that I may have done for, worked on for a week that was like high producing or whatever, it's just because people People just know like oh that's that's who I come to I come to personality it, it changes for every channel some channels are totally based on you know explosions and high production content or series or whatever else you have to figure out what your niche is for your channel but personalities are still very strong bloggers are still very strong if you can have that voice that people love and pay attention to and enjoy there's still a way to do that it's not always just about flashy and flashiness and I, that was something I learned from the rants and I love doing them there's fun as heck I just keep I want to keep doing them. Okay, I know I got real upset about Megan Fox being in the Ninja Turtles reboot, but you know what? I'm gonna let it go. I will let Megan Fox be in the Ninja Turtles reboot, have no problems with it, as long as you cast somebody else to play Don Tertelli. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look up Don Tertelli on the Google or watch Case of the Hot Kimono. You'll see why. You're welcome.
I'm weird. Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd. Booyakasha!